Hi Leo, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to the second half of April 2022. This is going to be your love read, all right? And we're going to focus on love if you're looking for career, money, or finance, or perhaps just a general monthly read. You'll see that right at the end of this video, guys, all right? Okay, let's take a look. We're going to pull uh, a card specifically for you first on uh, what is going to be your love wisdom for the second half of the month. So let's do that first, and then we'll jump into you and that other person, all right? Uh, and that other person could be someone you have yet to meet, uh, someone that you're maybe currently involved with, maybe someone that you've just got your eye on, uh, even a friend or family member uh, of some sort. So you're going to know what this, how this resonates with you. It even could just be one side of a situation or another. All right. So let's take a look and see what is coming out for you. All right. Uh, what is coming out for Leo, uh, Leo in the second half of April, 2022. Let's take a look. What do we get? Ooh, some of you have a brand new beginning. Oh, this is so nice. Are you feeling it, guys? Are you feeling this new beginning? Some of you have a new beginning in love. Maybe you are starting all over uh, in love, which is totally fine. You know, new beginnings give us an opportunity to turn the page and to create the type of uh, a love life that we're looking for. So some of you have some some gains, some, some maybe perhaps wisdom in the process, but there's some sort of new beginning need uh, here that is really fruitful. And it almost looks like, you know, there's a lot of red leaves that are, that are kind of coming from the tree and it almost looks as if there's hearts falling from the tree, right? Uh, there's, it's just like a harvest of love. So there's a new beginning. This could be a new beginning in a relationship. Uh, this could be, you know, again, a new way of being in love. Uh, but this is saying is like really leap into uh, this time for yourself, Leo, especially in love leap into a new beginning. All right. And this could be, you know, uh, again, just like, I don't know, I'm getting some sort of sense um, that a fresh start is needed. And this could be not only in love, this could be in life or on a project of something that you do love can come into play a lot of times. Okay. Um, but it's saying that, uh, you know, you have to start somewhere, right? And uh, every dream starts somewhere, right? That we, that we dream. So this is saying, act on your new beginning today. And that's what it wants you to do. So some of you have a fresh new beginning in love, uh, which is really, really great. Your path is clear right now. Um, you're ready to go. Uh, yes, you will make mistakes in love. We all make mistakes in love, but this is saying, and you will still continue to persist, right? Uh, continuing to persist um, and knowing that uh, you have strength and begin today with the vision that you want in love. This is what is coming through here. So today I began. All right. So note your comments below. I begin if you're there, right? Uh, let me know. Uh, give me some guidance as to where your guys are at as I, as I tap into this energy. But yeah, um, you know, and it's, it's Mother Teresa that says, um, what is it? Uh, uh, every new beginning or something of the sort or, uh, or peace begins, uh, peace or a new beginning begins with a smile. All right. So you guys put a, put a smiley face below as well. Uh, then that kind of lets me know that you got it. <laughs> so yes, I, I love this. So uh, this is what is coming through. All right. Uh, let's take a look and go ahead and jump into your read and, and take a look at how this uh, comes out and plays out within the rest of the spreads. Okay. All right. So what is going on for Leo second half of April? What does Leo need to know most? All right. And love. Well, this wasn't supposed to be there. So I'll put that aside. All right. So let's take a look. What does Leo need to be aware of and regarding love? Uh, what do we get here? Oh, this is nice. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Oh my gosh. You're coming up in your own. You're showing up in your own read here. Oh, nice guys. Okay. Check this out. We got the wheel of fortune and then we've got uh, Leo energy here with the queen of wands coming through here. Uh, and then we've got the three of wands. This is communication. Okay. So this is beautiful because if something hasn't been going well for you, the tables are a turning. Okay. Uh, the wheel is turning. Okay. So this is a wonderful opportunity uh, to, again, this, the, the universe is co-creating with you on this new beginning and you have some fresh energy to work with as well. And then, you know, this is, uh, you know, the queen of wands is that, that, uh, you know, she's very exuberant and vibrant. Uh, she is one, she can transform energy and move things forward in terms of her creations and has a vision of what it is that she wants and has the strength 
to create the energy to make it happen, right? So, uh, you know, and I almost feel that this is your energy and you're doing that and you're shape shifting like your, your older energy and you are transforming it into something that's going to bring a lot of progress. So we get the three of wands and that's still your fire energy. And this really talks about, um, you know, preparing some sort of strategy, having some sort of foresight on how you want to move forward. So this new beginning that we just talked about, this is really saying is that it's important for you to know where it is that you're going. Uh, determine what that strategy is and then move forward. And there's no wrong way. It's just every step gets you closer to what it is that you want, right? You just get a little more wisdom and more wisdom all the way through. Just like, you know, it, it, this, this is what's coming through here. Just like our relationships teach us so much, don't they? Uh, I know I've had my fair share of lessons and I know I have more to come and, and so do you. And, and this is about you get the opportunity to experience this, uh, to experience um, that of which that you desire. So get into that vibration of that, what it is that you want. Uh, tap into that beautiful energy that the universe is co-creating with you with this wheel of fortune here. This is destiny. This is an, uh, an opportunity to create the change that you've always wanted in love and to create that, a strategy surrounding that. Now, some of you, it could be work. I will have to, I do have to point that out. Some of you, it is regarding some sort of creative project. Okay. Uh, so this is what I'm getting, but uh, yeah, you get the opportunity to have a new beginning and smile and jump right into it, guys. Right. So just, you know, remind yourself, uh, remind yourself that every new beginning is a smile. And if you wake up in the morning, just look at yourself in the mirror and smile, you know, even if you have to just force it, it's going it, to, it, if anything, it's going to crack you up, right? It's like, it makes you look how silly it is to have a grumpy face, right? <laughs> I know it does to me. It's like, oh gosh, that's not a face to look at it, right? So it's about smiling, right? And, and that will signify and be that trigger for your new beginning, right? That'll kind of trigger that, that, that vibe that you, that you want to, uh, you know, create to attract that new beginning that you want. Okay. Let's take a look at what numerology uh, has to say for you here. What do we get? create creative creativity which is what we were talking about like i said it could be something having to do with some sort of creative uh, venture endeavor as well something that you love all right uh, now this is solar plexus chakra so this is saying be creative on how you just like i talked about like silly things you know that kind of can can get you right into the vibration be creative about it right and uh and, and you're the perfect uh you're the perfect person to do that um three is about communication this is about having confidence in your communication and moving forward. And I think that's why this uh, strategy is going to be incredibly important, you know, in, in terms of the process. It is about, you know, being able to create some sort of strategy. So, so this is saying is that progress can be made about setting in some sort of plan how it is that you want to move forward. And this is communicating that strategy. All right. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what else might want to come out. What does the uh, Love Oracle have to say in terms of coming out? Let's take a look at what that is. What does the love oracle have to say for Leo? And coming out here, what do we get? Um, yeah, this is visiting your morals and your family roots and that type of thing. So as you prepare your strategy, your 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 surrounding, you know, whether it's love or otherwise. You are checking in with your traditions, uh, your values, and uh, what's important for you, okay? And making sure that you include that into what it is that you want. So this is quite beautiful, guys. This is uh, really interesting. Uh, let's give me another card on this. Let's take a look at what this is. Um, what would we get? Options. Yeah. You've got a lot of options available, uh, many choices. Guys, I'm going to pull another deck. I want to get another deck that I have, and I don't know if I have it here with me here. Uh, but I'm going to grab it here. I think I have it. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Here it is. This is what I was looking for. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I realized that I took it with me uh, somewhere uh, today. So in any event, uh, here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Love Oracle and see what uh, that has to say in terms of where you're at. You've got some options. I will tell you that. Okay. With the Divine Love Oracle cards, what does it say here? Caution. This is about being hesitant and careful how they proceed. Uh, there's someone around you that's careful and or being careful of how uh, they proceed so you don't uh, so one's not making a mistake. Now, this could be you. It's showing up on your side. But someone, uh, either you or someone that you have in mind is being cautious. But it's following on your side here. You're cautious as you've got a lot of choices to make. And this is about, you know, choosing what is going to be best for you. What do we get? Vulnerability. Wow. 
the situation is really challenging someone to be vulnerable and to take a risk to emotionally open up. Now, this could be you or this could be the other person that maybe you have on your mind when you clicked on uh, the video here. This could be the case. So there could be a, a sense of vulnerability that's coming into play. Okay. So this is what I am getting. Wow. Okay. I do want to take a look at anything that is unrevealed at this point uh, so far. Uh, and then we'll jump in a little bit more, but let's take a look. What's uh, unrevealed uh, for Leo uh, that may want to come out? What do we got? Ah, I will find my way back to you. There's someone that I think that you might be separated with at this particular moment, all right? Someone that you have in mind. This is for some, uh, and some of you have a brand new beginning, but I do feel that there is someone that you're going to find your way back to. This is what's coming through. Whoa. You've got someone that you already are interested in, all right? Let's take a look at what this other person on the other side, let's uh, take a look at the status of where they're at, okay? What do we get? High Priestess Energy, Major Arcana is coming through here. And Justice, another Major Arcana. Oh, they're going through something here, guys. Wow. They're going through some sort. I don't know. I don't know if they're going through some sort of uh, legal situation in regards to some sort of partnership. Um, you might know more about this, guys. Uh, if not, and they're taking on all this energy, uh, I get the High Priestess right card here. All right. And that is really being intuitive in the process, right? The mystery of things. There's some sort of mystery. Something's hidden. Okay. And then I get the justice card, which is Libra energy. So this is about, you know, getting something balanced, a, an absolution, a decision coming down. Right. And it does relate to some sort of partnership. This is about something seen eye to eye. I think that there is something, um, there's something that's going on on this person's side. I feel that they might be going through um, some sort of legal proceeding um, of some sort. It might have to do with uh, some sort of partner or um, a situation, uh, but it is coming through here, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, you, you get, I get the justice on the 11th house, and that talks about uh, uh, humanitarian, global awareness, and, and things like that, but also has to do with friendships, uh, um, collective endeavors. I don't know. It, it's about, it could be that they could be getting a, a uh, perhaps a new job, you know, so to speak. But I feel that, um, you know, I almost feel that they feel something is mysterious and they want balance in a situation regarding a partnership. So if you're involved with this person, this could be that, uh, you know, they may see you as a little bit, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like something is hidden uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the balancing of the scales regarding a partnership. Something's hidden, okay? So it could be that they're hiding something in the situation here. You might know of this. You might not know of this, but you have that inkling. Um, if this person is taking on all the energy, this is them wanting balance in a partnership. And um, there's something that's hidden. It's about them finding their truth, okay? Uh, let's take a look even further with numerology and see what wants to come up. Yeah, because I get Libra energy and uh, I also get uh, water energy. Rebirth. Like you have a new beginning, they have a rebirth. Wow. I feel that there is something that needs to be balanced in a situation or in a partnership, but something's hidden. Okay. And, um, there is a rebirth that does want to come through. This is uh, communication and this is the, 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 the root chakra, you know, the first chakra. Uh, and I think that to, to get something on solid ground, some communication, uh, needs to come through. So there could be a communication coming from this person regarding a rebirth or they're having some sort of rebirth, uh, within their life, kind of very similar to what's happening with you on your side, right? There's an opportunity for rebirth. I don't feel that you're talking right now or at least connected, okay? Um, it's a 16 car reducing to a seven and the rebirth, this actually has to do with partnerships, marriage. Um, if you bring this, if you break this down, let's say to a seven and you, you relate this to the seventh house, that's what it has to deal with. So you might be dealing with someone that is going through a, uh, a rebirth in life um, you know, going through a change in a marriage or, uh, you know, a, a divorce of some sort. Um, this could be conflicts or alliances or legal matters. So there's something that's going through that's going to give them some sort of rebirth. Uh, and I think they're going to be very, they're going to love this. They're going to love whatever has brought them to this point. But there is something that's coming out here. Okay. So that's what I feel. Let's take a look at what the love uh, oracle has to say here. The pink love oracle. What do we get? Uh, what do we get? Ah, oh, one in a million special love. I think this person really sees that you are something special, that you're one in a million. 
and and they really see that i'm going to pull another card on the uh divine uh love oracle and we'll take a look and see what else wants to come out um let's take a look at what that is uh what do we have for this other person expectation someone fell short in meeting the other person's expected or desired outcome for the partnership now i don't know if if leo that if you had expectations or this other person did but it's like i think there was a sense of something just not working out for whatever reason you know whatever was happening with you or the other person in the moment but I feel that, you know, uh, legal situations coming through and expectations need to be revisited. It's, um, you know, it's, it, this is something that's very, very key that's coming out. All right. Anything else? Uh, what do we get? A revelation. It, it's a revelation. It's kind of like the universe is going to show what is hidden. Okay. So what is hidden on this side, the universe is going to show and it's going to be revealed. There's going to be a revelation. The universe is going to make sure that happens. And, and so this is what I feel that's coming through. I do want to pull what is uh, unrevealed and see what these cards want to show us for this other person uh, to see what is happening anymore. What do we get? Uh, they're missing your touch. Wow. I think this person, I, I think they're going through something. They're going through a shift in their life. And it's very similar to what you're doing, but in, you know, somewhat of a different way. But it is about someone needs to be, someone needs to speak up. And do you feel, it's kind of asking yourself, do you feel it's the other person or is it yourself? Because there is some sort of vulnerability here too. Let me jump in and find a little bit more. Let's try and find a little bit more in love on your side. Let's take a look, Leo. What do we get? The moon card's coming up. Pisces energy, okay? So something is hidden, but I think it's going to be revealed. Yeah, there's some sort of deception that has been hidden that you haven't been aware of. And I think I think it's on this other person's side. I think that you see you see some sort of deception. Now, this could be that you could be deceiving yourself in a, in some sort of way, right? Uh, in, in a way of thinking, all right? But uh, the deception has to do with partnerships, marriage, one-on-one. -on -one. Again, it gets to that seventh house. It reduces to the seven. And if you relate this to the seventh house, that's what I feel, that's what's coming through here. Sword energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could have that in your chart or you could feel that something's hidden that's causing deception. And something that, I don't know, I think that you may feel that, okay? Um, let me give me one more card. It has to do with choices, options that are available, choices. And maybe you feel that there was a uh, deception in choices and this person was making a choice between you and another person. Uh, guys, it's coming through and I have to acknowledge it. Um, again, a seven card. A seven card. Partnerships, marriages, conflict, legal situations. It's, it's, it's coming through again. Two sevens. Uh, so reducing to a seven. So this is about getting rid of the illusion and fantasy. Now, I do want to bring up the fact that because I got this card, the other story, if, again, this could be the case, but it also could be that uh, you could have been, uh, you know, uh, deluding yourself and deceiving yourself, uh, uh, you know, subconsciously. Uh, and, and, and that could be the case, you know, based on past, you know, uh, thinking or believing of some sort. And this is getting rid of that veil of fantasy in the situation. I think this new beginning has allowed you to really uh, look at love in a totally new way. And I think that you have learned through this connection in some way. Um, and let's take a look at what the uh, love oracle has to say. Anything more um, that may want to come through uh, from the pink love deck. Let's take a look. Any other messages uh, for Leo here that's coming through? Whoa. Uh, yeah, empty feelings, boring routines. So kind of like if you're, you're like, why be in a relationship if you're not going to share and, um, you know, kind of your lives together a little bit? You know what I'm saying? There's got to be that a sense of vulnerability and a sense of, okay, we'll come into this and a sense of... Uh, uh, wanting to have the opportunity to share. This is robotic feelings and such. So someone's not sharing. So it's kind of being in a relationship by yourself. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, it, if you want a relationship, you know, with another person, it's kind of not, not, not as fun, right? <laughs> and I'm not seeing being alone is not fun because sometimes that is fun, <laughs> okay? Uh, you know where you stand, but there's some sort of person that's not being vulnerable or not opening up emotionally, whether it's you or the other person, but I, you're going to know your story. So note your comments, guys. I'd love to know. But that is what is, is really coming through here. Uh, anything else uh, that may want to reveal itself? Reconstruction. Yeah, there's a breaking down and mending that is required to rebuild the situation. That's what I'm getting. I do want to pull one more for uh, Unrevealed. And let's take a look at what we got. Just curious on what we got. Ah, I know I let you down. 
Wow, how interesting, Leo, this is coming through here, okay? Uh, there is no greater love than ours. So it could be in the situation that someone was deceived, like maybe what you thought was happening in the situation wasn't, but you're going to know for yourself, uh, you're going to know what your intuition is actually telling you. What I'm going to do is pull an angel card for you because I'm curious to take it a step further for you, Leo. Let's take a look. What do we got? Uh, reconciliation. Some of you, sorry guys, it's coming through you. You got to acknowledge what uh, uh, spirit sends through here on the cards. And it says someone from your past is returning into your life. Uh, and uh, there is a reconciliation that might be on the table. You're going to have some sort of choice. We'll get to that. Let's go ahead uh, to this other side next door and find out what's happening even further. Uh, more messages. Well, they're missing your touch, but something is hidden. And they do feel that you're very special. Yeah, they have a decision to make. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're in a stalemate. Uh, and I knew they had some sort of duality that's going on with them. I could just feel it. Yeah. And uh, what do I get? Yeah, something came down. Like something like they invested into something that came down. Something surprisingly came down for this person. I think that something, a person, you know, I don't know if they've got someone in, in their life other than you. If that's the case, something came down and, uh, uh, or this could be you, you know, that came down after a lot of investment and, and as they were in the process of making a decision. Maybe they took too long. That could be the case. Uh, but this is seeing something unexpected and unavoidable happen and came down and, and brought forth an ending that brought forth this uh, opportunity for a rebirth, okay? And it, 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 I think something happened to them. I almost feel that whatever happened in your situation with them happened to this person to which um, if they were deceiving you, they got deceived, okay? Something came down after they put in a lot of investment into something and uh, it came down, okay? Let's take a look at what the uh, pink uh, oracle cards have to say. Uh, for further messages for this person. What do we get? Not listening. Hmm. Maybe they thought that they were right. All right. So someone wasn't listening. Maybe someone wasn't responding. Okay. And, but uh, now they want some, it's about quality time. They want quality time. Let's, let's pull another card on this. I'm just curious. Um, give me a card on uh, the divine love. Let's take a look what wants to come out for this person. What do we get? Intuition. I got the high priestess over here. The universe is providing intuitive uh, guidance to, to get this person on the correct path, to get them on their divine path, I should say, okay? Whatever is in store for them. Uh, what do the angel cards have to say? What do we get? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from their usual type and expectations. I feel that there's something different between you both here. Uh, there's something specifically different that's not... Uh, it could be uh, seen as different socially or culturally, but it's coming through. So, um, wow. Uh, and uh, anything else that is unrevealed? Let's take a look. Give me one more card. I'm just curious. Oh my gosh, I'm a lost soul is coming through. Whoa. You know, what's so interesting is something's coming down and I feel that there is an opportunity. There's a reconciliation on the table. So we're going to find out when this is going to happen and what this looks like. So what is it they haven't told you what they want most out of this? What you haven't told them what you want most? Messages from both sides. Their next steps, potential outcome with Oracle advice. So if you guys are interested in joining me, click the link below. And guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay. Uh, until then, namaste.